All right, welcome back. Hope you've been enjoying your week, weekend, day, hour, season, year. Um, uh, that's it. Yeah, I, I don't got anything else. Maybe I do. No. Okay. Anyways, welcome back. So, what am I gonna be doing today? Well, from the look of things, I might be painting. Um. I know, crazy, right? Crazy idea. So, what's the painting about? In this painting, I wanted to capture freedom and obviously movement and texture and all that other stuff that for some reason I really, really like. I know it's insane, but anyways, I'm gonna shelve that for just a moment. The colors I used were thalo green, thalo blue, white, a bit of black, a burnt sienna, cadmium yellow, and a quin rose. Might be saying that name wrong. I'll make sure to like put the name, the official name of the thing in the video or the description so you can check it out there. The different names for the paints and I can also put the brand that I'm using. So to start out, I wasn't thinking Obviously, I mean, who thinks these days? Crazy, right? It's a crazy um, concept to think. So I decided to follow the image I had, and it had like a darker bottom, and then with hues of brown coming out of the corner, and I was like, I kind of want to copy that because I like it. Then I started laying the paint on very heavy and dense, and it just didn't have the right flow. The reasoning behind this is I didn't finish doing the whole background. And that should have been the first thing I did. So then I'm like, okay, gotta re redo this. So then I go back with watered out paints, or watered down paints, and go over the thing with a blue, and then as I start to get towards the top, I mix it in with a thalo green. And then what also is giving this movement is because the paint is so thin when there's more globs of paint or more liquid then once it dries it'll have a darker area so if the paint is like put on there and there's no excess water it will seal right in and sometimes it'll look a lot lighter but when there's more water clumped in an area it will soak in, create it a darker tone to it. So that's what I did here to create the movement. And then I went through with a light and a dark and kind of just followed some of the natural lines of the paint to just kind of give it that similar movement and to highlight some aspects of the painting and just to kind of smooth things out or not smooth it out, but give it texture. And then you can also go back when you're painting your own painting and follow some of the lines from lighter or darker paint to give it highlights, even like dark highlights too. Even though they're not like high light, but they're dark light, but you know, whatever. There's probably a term for that and I don't know what it is. I know, it's terrible. I'm the artist here. I should know what it is. <sighs> terrible. All right, anyways. Then moving on. So, the idea behind this painting is freedom. And what better thing to capture freedom than a horse? To me, when I see a horse running, I think that seems like freedom. And I think it's also the stereotype that I've been given in my mind that running horses kind of lead to freedom. And maybe that's from the movie, um, I don't remember the name, but the character, or the horse was called Spirit. And I think that's where this comes from. But anyways, going back to like the paint and the design of it. So the paint I used was a burnt sienna mixed with a bit of the red or the rose and 
maybe I might have added a little bit of black. I'm not 100% sure on that one. And obviously yellow for highlights. But in space, there is only like certain types of cameras that can capture gases and they're very colorful. And I thought that'd be really cool to put in a painting, but to add your own design to it, because the one I'm basing it off of has like a hand reaching out and it's like, ah. So I thought, freedom. I know, crazy, right. And then that's what led me to the horse. So then underneath it, I went and just added a bit more like road or ground kind of elements. Is there any purpose to them? No, but I kind of just wanted to have the feeling of moving forward. And then I started to put uh, stars in. So first I went through and dotted everything to give like bigger stars. And then I realized, oh wait, I can speckle the thing. And then after that, I want to touch everything up, darken the top and the bottom, which provides it a more closed in painting so it keeps you on this one focal point and and it kind of holds things together because when you think about space it's infinite it's always expanding there's always there's so much we don't know and so much we don't understand or and stuff we do understand but to move to get the message to move forward and to continue on your path, I kind of wanted to darken the top and darken the bottom, which gives it this straightforward feeling, especially with how the horse is running and how the land is kind of pointing forwards or the streaks at the bottom of the paper, whatever you want to call them. They give this sense of moving forward. And also something else I would like to convey with abstractionism. I'm not saying that right, but we're going to go with it. So with abstract art, you can get away with a lot. And I felt like it should be up to the viewer's interpretation. I mean, I'm my own interpretation of this piece and freedom. That That's the only word I can get for it. But creating something that's abstract, you can get away with a lot more, but also it lets the brain kind of solve this puzzle that you've been presented with. And I think that's so valuable because you get to find your own kind of meaning to a painting. Sometimes it's like, oh yeah, that's just the Eiffel Tower or that's just a landscape. And sometimes you don't always get the story behind it or it the story is told itself and there's no if and or buts or an extension to it but when you allow the viewer to kind of have fun and experiment or not experiment but kind of start to be creative with it I think everyone is open to their own interpretation and going with abstract art gives that own interpretation and especially with this piece at least my interpretation of it is freedom and what better place than space? Space is always expanding. There's always stuff out there. Or up there or wherever it is. Or if you're hanging upside down, then it's... No, it'd still be up there. Um, or out there, whatever. It's always expansive. And no matter what you're going through, there's always somewhere to go. There's always the next hurdle to get through. And there's always a journey to see or be in. And yes, you can look behind yourself and it's easy to get stuck in the behind, but when you continue forward, you see more of the world, you see more of yourself and you get to experience more. And that's kind of what I wanted to capture and give the idea of. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, what you could do is comment 
And if there's any ideas for videos you would like to see, I am totally open to it. I'm very creative if that hasn't been shown yet. And I like tackling new challenges. So, and also, like, if there's anything you like and want to see more of, let me know. Anyways, thank you so much. See ya.